Hello and welcome to Dr. Red Frizzle here. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about vitamin B5, otherwise known as panthenic acid. I, okay, so what is, what, so what, what actually is the function of vitamin B5? Well, its function is the production of red blood cells, so red blood cell production. It's also used in sex cell production. Uh, sex hormone production, sorry. And, uh, and, and that's primarily the main functions of this particular thing. Um, it, 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 it's also been known to help synthesis of cholesterol. So I'll just list up here cholesterol synthesis. As we know, as we know with biology though, like, like when, when something actually, when something influences something, um, it, it, it can also have a particular. It can also be manipulated in order to have a reversal of that, of that actually actual manipulation of how it actually adjusts something. So, so, so although this is involved in cholesterol synthesis, there's been some research by scientists like about whether 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 it can actually be used to actually lower cholesterol as well as actually synthesizing it, which is making it. It that there have been studies that have actually shown that it can actually be used to actually reduce a cholesterol. I'm not really going to go into that too much now. Um, the, the one thing I would like to mention about this is the, the actual price of it. The actual price of these supplements. They're actually £7.95 for 100 tablets. Now you're probably thinking that uh, that's quite good value, but actually if you have too many of these types of supplements, you, you can actually, you can actually look like get, get, get signs such as diarrhoea, um, so, which isn't particularly nice obviously, so excess. You can get diarrhea and and and, and, and like as always with a lot of these vitamin B um, with a lot of these types of vitamin B there's a lot more actual deficiency symptoms than there are of, of overconsumption symptoms so, so I'll start listing some of these some of these like deficiency symptoms for you well what I would like to add though is that is that actually deficiency is quite rare it's not actually overly common but a few things like that you can actually develop from deficiency is insomnia, which is inevitably going to lead to fatigue because insomnia actually means the inability to, to actually get sleep properly. Um, so you can also have fatigue and you can also like develop stomach pains, which sort of linked in with diarrhea again. Um, stomach pains. Okay, so. The, the, the actual name, panthothenic acid, I haven't actually wrote that up here, but I probably should. Panthothenic acid. I believe it, that there was this word called pantos. It might be panthos, actually, but I believe it's pantos. And, and it's, it's actually a Greek word that means everything. So, so the main point I'm getting at is, is that panthothenic acid can be obtained from everything. And, and that's essentially why it's named as it is. Look, like if you're on if you're on Google, you'll find like these massive lists of where you can get it from. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in, into where you can get it from. Um, I, I'd be actually better off going into where you can't get it from. But but since you can get it from almost everything anyway, I, I thought it's a bit pointless actually listing where you can get it from because because, because like essentially it's almost everything. Um, and that's actually what the the name panthenic acid come where it actually comes from. It derives from from a Greek word which I believe to be similar to this. If if not it, if not it might be pantos. I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, we, which actually means panthenic acid. So that's essentially where the actual meaning of, of that actually comes from. Um, and, and the other thing I'd like to add is I'd like to add how much of this you should actually have. So, so men should have have actually five, five milligrams. Um, as you expect, women should have slightly less than this. Um, and, and, and there's been a, lot, a number of studies with this, and, and there's been some that, as I've, as I've said before, that can actually reduce cholesterol. Um, and there's been and there's been another one that has suggested that panthenic acid can actually speed up wound healing as well, that I thought was quite interesting. Um, and there's not actually there's not actually actually too many things that, that panthenic acid in excess can cause. I've got I've got this diarrhea lot from one website has mentioned that it can lead to diarrhea, but there's a number of different websites that have said there's not really any major disadvantage of having too much. I suppose it depends on what particular study it is and how many people have taken part in it. 
but but like overall, like in general, I'd say there's no there's no actual serious health risks with excess because even if you do develop diarrhoea, although that can be serious in like LEDC type countries in like the UK, it's like easily treatable, and and as long as you like, like like stay away from work for a few days, you should be fine and get back to full health. Okay, so that's all I wanted to really say about panthothenic acid. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and the next one will be on vitamin B6, which is otherwise known as pyridoxin. Okay, so see you then. Goodbye.